Crap, how do I take the logo off? This hangout is on air, is live. Oh, why? Now you don't want that on there? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't want your baby photo on there? Uh, no. I think I want something like Techies or something. Is your nice guy network one? I got to go to their website to get that way. Oh, you got your whole family on there? Yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, it says it means phony. Why'd you do What's that? that? I don't want to get rid of it. Hold on, Tony. I'll just send you what I have here for the logo. Can I do that? Yes, it did. It's nice if we're a little consistent. I don't know. Well, I don't know if Matt wants to do it. Right. Matt doesn't. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah, yeah, that's for true. Wait, what? Yep. And we're we're live. We're live. <laughs> Are we live? Yeah. No way. We're not, we're not supposed to be. Post. Oh, oh. We're no strangers to blue. the food. What's happening? Oh, you already got one. Yeah, you did. Never going to give you up. Never going to oh, let you. Thanks, oh. man. Awesome. Yeah. What happened? What happened? <laughs> you gave me that. You rickrolled me. It's been a long time, but. Holy sh! Nikes. How large it's, is this? Uh, we are the ones that don't care at all. <laughs> That's a song, right? We're going to be one, and we're gonna let you down. And we're gonna uh, sort of better now. Oh, you, no, I got a better quality one for you. <laughs> How do you guys do, do you? nice guy? I got whatever your nonsense was from the, uh, where, where, where are you sending it to me from? Where's my nice guy? Yeah. I know, this is a really large image. But... That's fine, it'll be great. I just did oh. something quickly on the fly. <clears throat> Where's the, are you sending it to me in the in the email or? I'll do this again. Where's... Oh, here we go. Yeah, webs... Oh, the wait. Website, we, have or... chats. we have multiple chats, I suppose. We have a chat even. Over here in the we got a the chat screen. within a chat within the Whoa. matrix. Yeah. This is a big one. Within a South Whoa. Park. Within oh, that is big. Nice. Look at that oh, bastard. Save image. Nice guy. <laughs> What's a W E P T? God, I don't even know what that means. It's a wept. You know, <laughs> you know what a wept is? I don't. <laughs> this is where you say it's you know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear it. Say it. I am kind of surprised. I got. <laughs> The so Chrome HTML document. It's Chrome 100, doc? 100K. B. All right. Yep. Is that better? Does that look better, Shane? Looks fantastic. <clears throat> Ooh, good. Matt? Keeping your photo? Yeah. Do I really <laughs> have mine? A douchebag photo? Yeah. No, nah, it's good. It's probably from your Google Plus. I don't have a Google Plus. It's like basically just poop one out right now just to get the, the apps or whatever. Oh, yeah, you friended me on Google Plus. How does that work? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I saw you. I hit follow. Boom. I think I did the same for Shane if I saw his picture there. If I didn't, I got out of it. Maybe I'll look at it more. Wow. <laughs> friends now. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Google Plus. Uh oh, oh look don't make fun of Google now. Plus while you're talking on Hangouts. They're going to be they're listening I'm to us. In the... <laughs> oh, yeah, well. Do you guys right. watch the uh, Hearthstone World Championship? Is that happening? What? what is it? <laughs> <laughs> they did the uh, all the stuff leading up to BlizzCon. Ooh. I will probably watch it more on BlizzCon. I haven't watched it. Oh, else. man. What, who's on top to win? Or who's, uh, I don't know. The guys, know they the, do. the people that I would have thought got knocked out, uh, so it's not really <clears> any big <throat> names that I know of. Uh, One of the yeah. from NA made it, though. They were expecting Europe to be kind of the, mm -hmm. the big hitters. 
Huh. Well, uh, what, is <laughs> what is it? Oh. Ooh. Oh. So that is lightning to what? Who knows? Did you get your new Apple? Did you get your oh, new yeah. iPhone? What did you all get? Just the iPhone? What'd y'all Ooh. get? Oh, did you get the big guy? You got the big boy. Yeah, yeah I got the regular one. one. <laughs> That's it? Hmm? That was a regular one. Why did you choose the regular though. one? Check this out. Wait, oh, you got yeah, the regular one? You got a white version of the 7? Oh, white. it's not white. Silver white? Sight. Rose gold? Is it rose gold, man? Rose gold. No, it rose is. Gold. Rose, rose gold, gold is what you you know people say, so you don't get called, you know. Pink. Yeah, I don't see. It looks white. There, there's the yeah, one. pink. <laughs> Shane was going to get rose gold with the first one, or the last year model. It's it's not bad. Until I realized it's pink. <laughs> wait, wait, Matt, does it say I'm a big deal in the rebellion? Is that what it says? Hmm? Yeah. Where does it – it's <laughs> cut off. The rebellion is cut off. So, Come on. A big deal in red. Oh. All right, I got to I got to Ooh, someone is doing some rootering. Oh, yeah? Why is it always turned off? Jeez. <laughs> kind of, eh? Kind of. Kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. You kind of sound like a douche. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> Come on, Tony. Well, your base belong to us. At least get the right form of two in there. Damn it. <laughs> How's that? Or do I have to, like, turn not, it off and turn it on again? You got to turn it off and turn it on again. I think put there we go. Line, though. What'd you say? What? <laughs> All Small. your base uh, yeah. belong to us. Is I don't like that one line. Is good. I don't know. Small, small isn't on that line either. Why does it chop off? You can't see my small. <laughs> Kill me. Another line. <laughs> you guys get two lines. I don't think. How do you get the second line? I don't think you do. You don't. It's. It. it I think it auto word wraps it or whatever. Oh yeah, okay. Red color. <laughs> all your base belong. All your base are belong to us. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Wait, is it our or our? I thought it was our. All your base are. Our belong to us. At least use the right form of <laughs> our. <laughs> oh, words suck. Look at me. I'm just playing it safe now. Nice guy. Nice guy. Hey, I put nice guy. That works. Is there an S at the end? There's no S. Okay. You shouldn't just be a uh, probably star squeak star. <laughs> how do you? How would I emote squeak? <laughs> just, just a oh, squeak. Or, or just H H U H. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> This is a stupid request, but can you change your color to the hex code D with five zeros after it? With five girls after it? Five zeros after D and then five zeros because then, uh, I don't know. Where am I putting technique. that in? Where does it show Tech that? Red. Just that little stripe. What? I'll do a little rose gold. <laughs> Where do you see that option? It says color. Right what? Oh, it does say color. Jesus, come on, Tony, you're trying to make your ass. <laughs> All right, you said color, Jesus. What did you say again? A S D S. Uh, D and then five zeros. I don't know if I like the red. It looks like we're evil or something. You can choose a different color if you want. What is that blue color? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Blue color. The boot color. Does red mean we're associated with a certain party? And so does blue. The red party. Ooh. Yeah, you guys are red people.
You're red. We're, we're, you. you're, we're <laughs> horror in your alliance? What color is, is your map? I don't like old man blue. <laughs> old man blue? Yeah, powder blue is old man blue. I don't make the rules. Powder blue is old man blue, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> what do you think? Should I do something to my hair since we're sort of on the line? I feel like I look like a douche. Yeah, spike it up a little bit more. Yeah. Get, get I don't, know, sense, like so I don't know if I want to do something. You want to have that triangle and be like a point. It sort of does that when it's really short, then it kind of comes to like. Yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> Decker cheesy. Decker easy. Decker. Decker tight. Squeak. Nice. What's that? You did do the squeak. Nice. Did I? You <laughs> put it in there. I forgot what I did. Oh, I did. <laughs> All right, I'm over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I gotta get some more. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right. So, are we all doing something different for colors then? I don't care. Yeah, I mean, that's Matt, cool. Matt went the, no, that went back to blue. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, he, that's where old man blue came from. Him. That's where old man blue came from. Old man blue. Is there a chat room? Help me out here. Yeah. There is. Oh. That's good. What's the best, what's the most accessible chat? Because we have chat over, I guess, the yeah, doc. I mean, just since I'm on your. You could. Well, I don't care. Sure. <clears throat> Are we chatting? Yep. You too. You too. Sorry? <clears throat> well, I like how I can, um, I think it pop out the chat and then I can just have it in, you know, a corner in case somebody says stuff. One viewer. Yeah, and I have uh, you guys oh, in the other one. And then, three screen. You know, yeah. Another article or whatever we're talking about in another window. Whatever. What as my name's Shane. I say mm -hmm. what as, and I don't care. What as go, what is that, Coke Zero? Coke, Coke Zero. zero. Uh, something Zero. Code Zero. Ooh, what's it? Yeah. That's right. Ooh, what? Like, what? It's like, yeah. oh, yeah. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just started watching the YouTube channel. I just had a really dumb look on my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Two episodes ago, oh, yeah. you kind of just lost it because you loved seeing yourself, you know, 10 seconds ago, Matt, or something, or whatever. It was. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was definitely way too much fun of that. <laughs> and, and your little hats on the wall or whatever, or yourself. Yeah. yeah I'm sober over this time, so it's not as fun. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> it kind of isn't. It wasn't fun then either. <laughs> you made it fun. That's right. All right. Is anyone in the chat room? Chat room, help me out. <laughs> chat room, help me out here. Yeah. Is that, you know what kind of... Cat room. It Cat room. It shows... Well, it shows like the live number of people, I think. But you know, know, Hi, all. That's Hi, all. Just that you just see if anyone's doing anything. There's only good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> You guys yep. seen this? You heard of this? You see this? Yeah. So when does your uh, laptop come, Shane? Uh, what, what was it that I said? Uh, it's like later in, not September, but... Um. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that? Do you like that? you have another... Oh, I love it. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Do you like the little dongle? Other than the fact that it's sort of a phallus? Uh, do you like doing something extra? Oh, it's extra. I don't know if Steve Jobs would, would tolerate that. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I, I heard that. I don't know who said what, but I think you, if you have to have something extra, then you're kind of losing. You should, you should be able to do everything right out of the box, however it is. Well, Jobs wasn't always 
I'm not saying he was right or wrong. I'm just saying that I think I would question that if he had that, if he was still around today. Now, I know he said, do what you think. Don't always think, you know, he told Tim Cook that, you know, don't ever question or second guess it. Do, you know, what I would do. You know, do what you think is right at the time or something. He said that to him. Probably on his deathbed. Well, I would do, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, what? Do everything I would do and only do whatever everything I would do or I will haunt your dreams. <laughs> I don't even remember putting these things on my face. <laughs> um, yeah, eh, there you go, Google, sure. Let's the question. Answer my question. <laughs> Ooh, what question you got? <laughs> <laughs> Kill 10 Murlocs. <laughs> Is that a quest? Are you playing yeah. Warcraft right now? Probably. <laughs> I'm not playing anything right now. Are we playing anything on Friday? Uh, Ooh. Yes. Are you guys taking Friday off of work, or when does it start? Yeah. I think it starts oh, later, right? It starts later, usually, doesn't it? Or I think it's yeah, later. it does start later. I thought I'd maybe see if I could get an eye appointment in in the morning, but I haven't done anything about that yet. I can't even go back to my all-mail on this watch. All-mail. Oh, Did you get yeah. a watch yet, Matt? Are you going to get a watch? <laughs> oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> Like you're the first one. They're like, ah, oh, I want to get a watch so bad now. And then it's like all this other stuff comes, including a new watch. I did want to get one. Ooh, how do you guys like it so far? Oh, it's pretty sweet. It's definitely good. I do it's like it. It is. It is nice. <laughs> it also yeah. it just chills there. <clears throat> yep. So what did you all order besides your uh, iPhone Seven map? Uh, get a screen protector. Pro? Excuse me. What's that? Oh, I'm kind of torn. I, I, no, I was kind of set on the, getting a MacBook, but uh, the 13-inch MacBook Pro seems pretty nice, but they're pretty expensive compared to uh, the they MacBook. Are, it's like, it's are like, you just going to go run straight one. MacBook then? Uh, that's what I was thinking about. That thing's already six months old now. That's true. Hey, did they update or talk about the iMacs at all? No. I heard the... Uh, the technology is just not there yet, or they're waiting on some piece. I don't, I don't know what it is. I think when they update it, they're going to come out with a keyboard. They're going to what? I think they're going to. <laughs> Shane's just having a fun time. Yeah, he is. Whoa. <laughs> what just happened? Nice. Um, That's great, Shane. I think they're going to come out with an, uh, a keyboard with the bar on it for the iMac. <laughs> oh, you think it's an external? Yeah. That would make sense, yeah, because I don't really, yeah, we were talking about I don't use my laptop keyboard that much. Yeah, there you go. That's true, too. You're right. Are you just holding off again now until, like, spring, or are you going (laughs) to? I don't know how bad you need one, right? By the ocean. By the ocean. Yeah, I don't actually need one, so it's it's not, like, pressing or anything. But uh, I am pretty happy with the the iPhone 7. Although the... uh, the 3D touch has been really nice, and then live photos are pretty cool. I don't actually know what the seven features are that I like. Huh. I guess so you could have gotten away with a 6S? Is that what you're saying? I, yeah, I probably should have upgraded to a 6S, then I would have had 3D, fo- or 3D touch and live photos for an extra year. We were actually wait, using... wait, do you have the, um, do you have the Plus? I, I didn't see that. I... Nope, I've got the normal size. Oh, you just got it. Because I, I think the, uh, the 7, the main feature is the two cameras, but only if you have the Plus. I yeah, I was I was just getting sick of waiting. I don't know that stuff kind of. Just... Yeah, well, whenever I get to it, uh, we'll we'll probably switch, and I'll I'll get the seven. You get the one twenty eight. Yep. I heard that the thirty two is actually slower. Oh. I don't know. That's what they were saying. Yeah. I don't know if that was gonna matter. Or not. Mm-hmm. I was thinking like. The 256, because I could actually, I could have got a plus size with 256, but then it's just, I don't even know what I would use all that for, videos or something. Yeah, I know. I mean, do you have a lot of, I guess, a few videos, but then it's like, do you even need them? I think day to day, you don't necessarily need to keep all that content on your phone. I know I usually, the the only time I feel like I want videos on my phone is if I'm, if I'm flying somewhere. Then it's like, all right, now I want to load it up with anything in case it's bored or takes too, you know, something takes too long. All right, then I'll, yeah. I'll load up my phone and watch something on it. But other than that, 
And chances are I probably have my MacBook with me. Oh, yeah, I'm just watching on there. Yeah, what is she doing over there? It's having a little too much fun. <laughs> Ready when you are, Shane. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where'd, where'd you get a cake? <laughs> where'd I get a cake by the ocean? Oh, my God. That yeah. pizza place was really good last night, Shane. It was, yeah. Oh, where'd, where'd you guys go? Chow. Uh, what, what was that? Yes. L? Yeah, yes, yep. I didn't know they had puppy chow. Puppy chow pizza? No, just puppy chow like as a <laughs> side order. Really? Huh. Yeah, we got some. Well, we got some crazy pizza. It was really good. But then it was like I didn't know they had puppy chow. And they have ice cream there too. And we were uh, Rachel's mm-hmm. and on the third ward. And oh yeah, we saw. Um, crap! What's it? We saw Book of Mormon yesterday. I don't know if she told you. Oh, nice. How'd you guys like it? Oh, I believe we all liked it a lot. I believe we <laughs> Well, I can't speak for everybody. That's my way of saying it, but sort of saying they all loved it too. Yeah, I thought it was really good. I I would definitely want to see that again. Yeah. Oh, you did see it. Do I look better with a blurred background? A yeah, portrait yeah. effect? Ooh. Someone put an uh, iPhone 7 Plus in, in front of the camera lens. This is, <laughs> yeah. this is how you see me through Ooh. the eyes of a of an iPhone 7 Plus. Yeah, I want to see that. What <laughs> background is that? How do, you like the button, how do you like the button on the uh, on your 7, Matt? How do you like that? The home button? Yeah. It didn't take that long to uh, to get used to. Let's okay. see if this works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, man, there it yeah. is. Oh, look at how amazing you look. It's well, he terrible. doesn't get that effect. <laughs> you, know, you would get the portrait of it. You don't have the plus. Ooh. Ooh. What are you guys saying? Blur or no blur? Blur is kind of nice. It's got a certain value to it. It's funny, though, because it's the blur, but then the space between your headphone and your and your head, I can see it's no blur. I can, I can see Lord of the Rings just fine. <laughs> yeah. it, it doesn't blur it out. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys be able to see each other... Because I couldn't see Shane very well right now, unless he starts talking. I mean, you can't see me very well. I, because you weren't on like the uh, the big, big screen. It's just when you talk. Oh, that's right. I'm already. Oh, that's on his desk. All right. What's that? Uh, I guess we can start. No one's really in here, but. Oh, is that what you were waiting for? Kind of. I don't know. Yeah, that's good. See my dumb, my dumb uh, go, uh, goatee from my costume. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> What's Tony got? Ten bucks off with something. Barnes and Noble gift card. Ooh, another gift card that's gonna be hard to use. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Good to go. Oh, that one of these guys. Well, I'm gonna get the other end. <laughs> you just like leave around that morning. Yeah, that's the female end. <laughs> Who's the male end? Do you ever oh, connect? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Can I can I show this on air? <laughs> With a disclaimer. There it is. Ooh. Very graphic. Oh my god, was it good for you? Very graphic. Good to go. Good, good to good to go. Oh yeah. Good to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I thought we I thought we did it already. Did we not? Yeah, we're done. Wait, yeah. is this tech? What are we doing? You guys got two different types of two different shades of blue. <laughs> <laughs> I got the cool blue. That's a little older than me, so it's understandable. So they can tell us a part. Yeah, we look too shades similar. Red. She's red till forever. I mean, till the end. Many guys doesn't want to be green, orange, purple, pink, black, or sassafras. That's the color, right? Now, if we're that color, Shane, then what color are you going to be? This one. Oh. So what are you trying <laughs> to say? I don't know. I don't have to be red, but. Oh, are you saying that we should all? It, let's say Matt was what is he green no, now? Red, and red, I red, green, blue, RGB. I like that. That's good. All right, sounds good. All right. Here we go. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, should have recorded that. That's gold. What's happening? I don't know. He's doing a little one of these. Yeah. <laughs> Just think if you had a couple drinks, Matt, how fun that would be for you too. <laughs> oh, I'm completely sober, and it's All a lot right. of fun. Yeah, if I was drunk, this would be. Hilarious. <laughs> Don't forget, you, you would enhance the funness for all of us. What? You can save, save the presets for those, uh, what you call it, also. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I should probably save one of them. Wait, what? You can save your presets of, like, Matt and your ASDF, and I suppose I could do Cordy. That'd be kind of cool. Oh. I don't know. Um, you could save those as a preset. Otherwise, I don't think the color stays, but anyway. All right. Oh, no. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> are, we doing? In, are we good? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, meth, meth, muted, and wait. Does it show you guys on mute? Yeah. It shows, yeah, or it shows us. So Tony's got the blending happening or whatever it is. All right. Hey, wait. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> you want to Maybe you can mute that for now. <laughs> it's a good intro. <laughs> All right. And three, two, one. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Techies, the podcast about simplifying our lives one gadget at a time. This is episode number 62 for Sunday, October 30th, 2016. I'm Shane and that is Matt. Hey. <laughs> Amen. I don't know if you asked or not, but I am doing fantastic. Uh, finally recovered from a uh, party we went to last night, a Halloween party. So You don't know if I asked? <laughs> I don't know if you asked how I was doing. I think uh, you just said that to Matt. I, I, I could, though. What's up, Matt? How, <laughs> how are you doing? Good, yeah. I don't want to repeat myself too much, but yeah. <laughs> Some chai tea. Ooh, okay. Or am I jumping the gun on this, too? I'm really ruining the whole intro here. Ooh. Hi, Chai Excellent. All right, and that is also. We are also joined by Tony. Hello. I am doing good as well. I'm assuming you're going to ask me how I'm doing, kind of like Matt just did that one time a couple seconds ago. Then you know what else I'm going to ask you? What's that? Oh yeah, I am drinking wine right now. There you go. What kind of wine, Tony. Shiraz Cabernet Blend. Oh. So yeah, it's pretty good. That's not the. Uh, I think there's a brand out there called uh, what the heck is it called? Menage a Trois or something. That's like three blends. I think Ooh. that's one. I think so. I think that is three. Does it blend? My Seinfeld taught me anything. It's that word. Menage a Dos. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> dos Techies. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> How's Shane doing today? <laughs> Doing pretty well. Feeling fairly recovered from the Halloween yeah. bash. Oh, you had a yep. bash. Mine was just a party. Oh, well, see, that was your first. What's the difference? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. What's but it was that? a little bit more intense, I think. Very fun. Wait, did, did, sorry if you already said this, Matt. I know Tony didn't dress up, but did you dress up, Matt? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm getting a little old for costumes, but everybody else was totally dressed up you know, really well, so I looked like the uh, the douchebag who didn't uh, do yeah, anything. I think that's how it is now. You, you, you either like you have to have like a couple of people that don't dress up too, or if you're the only guy, then it's like, oh, no, I look like you know bad, even though I always felt that was reverse. Like, even when I had costumes, I would always, oh, I don't like this. This is uncomfortable for me. <laughs> but now it's like you almost have to do that and then just own up to it. I'm probably better than... I'm better at that now, but I don't know. Now you're getting older, you're like, uh, I don't know if I want to do it now. 
I think I'd be more likely to try to find something, but now it's like, eh. Shane, what did you yeah. dress up as? Well, I, in, my, in my opinion, I think you're just never too old to dress up, though, really. I mean, it's all, it's all a state of mind. It's all in your mind, right? You could just you dress up to out for work, Shane? People dress up, right? I yeah. thought about it, but... <laughs> I think I might have spilled too much rum and coke on my <laughs> clothing or something. I, I got <laughs> We can't watch that. <laughs> Being dry clean only. I think I do have to wash clothes after this anyway, so maybe That's I can. Right. I just thought of that. I think people will dress up at work tomorrow, so I didn't even think of doing that. That never crossed my mind. But tomorrow's actually Halloween. Yep. Yeah, and my costume's not even much of a costume. It's it's the guy from Trailer Park Boys, so it, <laughs> I don't know if he'll be like, hey, who drove that way today? <laughs> uh, uh, but anyway, was, the rum and coke. Just have the rum and coke yeah. at work. Everyone will be like, ah, it's just part of your costume. <laughs> it's fine. I like you guys are saying Ro Roman coke. Roman coke. Roman coke? I, think I used to actually think that's what it was way back when. <laughs> I probably thought that Roman too. coke. Just like. Uh, Pam cakes and uh, <laughs> Isn't it cakes Pam? made by, and uh, and then the other one. What? There's another one. I can't remember offhand. But anyway, uh, so let's uh, I guess let's get the show on the road, shall we? Sure. News. TechCrunch reports, these are Tesla's stunning new solar... Wow, I just got some energy there. I don't know where that came from. These are Tesla's stunning new solar roof tiles for homes. Elon Musk had previously said that Tesla's solar roof product looked better than traditional roofs. Roofs? Not roofs. I wanted to say roofs. Anyway, roofs. Roof. That has now been proven to be the case. Uh, the, well, I mean, that's an eye of the beholder, I guess. You know, Everyone's got a different opinion on what looks good really but the four styles they come in are textured glass tile state glass st slate glass tiles tuscan i can talk tuscan glass tile and smooth glass tile they are closely they all closely resemble <laughs> current roofing materials and are transparent to solar whatever that means transparent to solar sounds like to the sun i guess <laughs> uh but opaque when viewed at an angle they currently operate at 98% efficiency of a traditional solar panel, but are working with 3M on improved coatings that could possibly go above normal efficiency, the current efficiency of solar panels, that is. These are actually, these will actually cost less than the full cost of a current roof, while electricity will be competitive or better. Um, I try to understand that a little more. Um, the cost of electricity, I, I don't know a whole lot about that really at all. <laughs> but I talked about, um, you know, the cost of a roof plus the actual power grid sector, what you call it, combined, something along those lines. Um, didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, <laughs> but, uh, that, it all sounds good. All this sounds good so far. <laughs> good things here. Um, let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. On top of generating enough energy to fully power a household, reserve power is also stored in the new Powerwall 2.0, which I guess is a Tesla product as well. And there was a picture there. Um, I, I took that link to another article that showed it kind of just on the out. I think it was on the outside of a house or I don't know if it was inside a garage, but it looked like possibly a, a power station or something for your Tesla vehicle or maybe, you know, other Tesla products. I'm not sure if it's uh, specific to Tesla or if that can charge other things either. But really intriguing stuff here. Installations begin next summer, starting with one or two of the tile options and expanding those from there. So I guess they were saying one or two of the four initially. And then I don't I don't know if that means they're going to exceed the four eventually. I would imagine they'll probably add some additional ones beyond that. Since they're made from quartz glass, they should also last two to three times longer than asphalt, or you know, what traditional um, roofs are composed of. Musk later said they should last longer than the house. That's a quote actually from him. Wow. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So, Tony, I think uh, I want to say you might be sort of the I don't know. I don't I don't want to claim one of you as a bigger Tesla expert than the other, but I, I think Tony's pretty big into Tesla things. Um, well, I try to be at least with their cars, but I actually read this too and I thought I'm like, "Oh, 3M? <laughs> That's nice. You know what you know what else they make? Josh tape. Yeah. You <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> Tony loves the smell of I new do. Mac products. I like scotch <laughs> tape. Uh, I do. I do like that. And yeah, uh, having a new Apple product, which <laughs> for some reason, yeah, whenever you open up a new one, it totally smells like it. Although I didn't, uh, I didn't, I don't remember the watch smelling like that though. But so you really hope these tiles smell like <clears throat> scotch? What you're getting at? Yeah, you just you can just picture me on the roof, just going <laughs> and <just> sliding <sighs> off. You just that sounds probably <laughs> sliding better. down head first, face first in the <laughs> tile, missing along the way. Well, that would be better, but I guess I thought like, okay, uh, I just my first thought was like, hail damage is that a thing with this? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> There's no mention of hail damage in here, but that's. But I'm just, I guess I'm just curious on any kind of weathering. But if they're saying outlasting the house, and you know, I, I think rain would be fine and water and all that sort of stuff. I wouldn't doubt they'd be more durable though, even though they say, they say it's glass. I mean, quartz is mm -hmm. pretty. Strong glass, right? Yeah, and that's the only thing I could think of was, uh, I mean, I don't know about strong winds. Usually, the roof is the first thing to go with tornadoes and hurricanes. At least mm -hmm. I think so, but I don't, I don't know for sure. So I don't know in in that aspect of it too. But just you know, weatherize weather, yeah, weatherizing is that even a word? But you know, yeah, just it is. making making it seem like you just want something a little bit more durable for the elements. But uh, I'm all for it. Anything where you can get some sort of renewable energy. Uh, you know, that, you know, kind of takes you off of getting a monthly bill, I think is great. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then that, um, that power wall is there. It's, it's kind of like a, it, you can kind of think of that as like a battery, but for your house and then you charge it up and then it's supposed to charge everything. And I think it's an astronomical. I don't remember how much it costs, but two oh, that. Seems like, what's that? Oh, that one's pretty expensive. The power wall. <clears throat> I believe it is. And I, and I think that you're kind of, it's it can supplement some of your energy, but I don't think you can totally go off grid with it. From the last thing, I, from the last time I, I talked or, or I read about something about that, but um, I, I they can only go up. So I'm I'm trying to keep my eye on it too. Just to it'd be kind of nice to just be sort of self sufficient in that way with a house or or with anything really. Right. Um, cool. Yeah, all, I think yeah, all good things. And then they're kind of trying to make it look pleasing too with Tuscan glass and all these different, you know, slated and all that stuff. So, you know, it's not just about functionality, but they're trying to make it look halfway decent or at least similar to what's already out there or what roofs typically look like, so. I was, yeah, I was kind of surprised how close they look to a normal roof, yeah. but these are pictures from, they look pretty far away. So maybe just driving by, you wouldn't tell, but maybe if you walked up closer to it, you could uh, kind of tell the difference. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yep, yep, pretty neat. All right, Matt, what are you talking about tonight? Uh, this one's from Engadget. Uh, Switch is Nintendo's next game console. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw uh, anything about this yet. Uh, Nintendo unveiled that they've got a new console coming out. Uh, it looks like just a small tablet uh, that you, with a screen on it that you can play on it. Um, it's got two kind of controller things to the side of it. Uh, so kind of like the old gaming consoles back in the day where the controls are on the side. You've got a little screen in the middle, uh, and then you can... Uh, detach the controls, attach them to some other piece of plastic or something so it, it functions like a normal control, uh, and then you plug the tablet into some kind of dock, and then that projects onto your TV. Uh, so I guess that's the, the switch is where you can go from kind of tablet mode to TV mode. Um, it's got an unspecified NVIDIA Tegra, uh, quote, uh, mm. based on the same architecture as the world's top performing GeForce gaming graphics cards. Uh, they didn't say anything about resolution or anything like that or frame rate, so it's kind of it's a pretty small device. So not really sure what kind of performance going to have. If it's going to show you know, complete HD, 4K, who knows? Uh, they showed off a couple games: Zelda, Mario, Mario Kart, and I think it was Skyrim. Ooh, uh, it's hard to tell how good the graphics were because Zelda, Mario, and Mario Kart were all the cartoony type of graphics. Uh, hmm. So yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Definitely uh, not even trying to compete in the same same area as uh, PlayStation and, and Xbox are kind of trying to do their own thing like they've, I guess they've done for a while. 
Yeah, which maybe is yeah, I don't know if it's smart or not at this point, maybe because I know, Sony right? Yeah. I just Sony and Microsoft have such a the mar- you know, a large chunk of the market now. Yeah, yeah, they do. But they could with I mean, the Wii that, that came out, I thought that was, I don't know if you want to say revolutionized or whatever, because it almost was sort of a flash in the pan, I think. The Wii, I mean, the Wii U was even sort of a letdown. But I feel like if they had you know, the Wii technology mixed with some of the VR stuff coming off, they could maybe in a couple of years really do something. In it. And then maybe even jump ahead of Sony or, or Microsoft. I don't even know if Microsoft's doing any of the VR. I know they got HoloLens, but I don't know if that's being incorporated into um, the Xbox at all. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what it seems like, you know, the hardcore gamers are going, but I don't know, this kind of seems nice with, um, you know, they're doing, they're trying to get a device that's portable and yet also, Oh, if I get a bigger screen, let's use that instead, you know? So, and then back and forth. So, um, I still think they want to kind of compete with just mobile gaming too. And that kind of includes whatever's on the iPhone or Android. And I think this is the way to do it. Yeah. I, uh, I hadn't honestly looked at too much of this. I'd seen pictures and heard rumblings about it. Actually, I was talking to someone today, and I, I just, uh, I, I feel like they're just trying to go for more of this whole fad sort of thing, or you know. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. You're right. I don't know if this is really gonna, you know, honestly, it's looking at it now. I think it's a little cooler than maybe I initially had got the impression of. Um, but yeah, the, the the thing I keep I've heard is that well, as you mentioned, unspecified um, graphics chip, but or Tegra mm-hmm. chip specifically. But, but at the same time, I, I've heard it's not going to be as powerful as either the PS4 or mm-hmm. the Xbox One. So that's if that's the case, I think that's a huge miss. Even if they're not, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it's not worth their time and energy if it's a completely different market that they're aimed at. But uh, I mean, they got to do something different if they want to stay in the, in the, uh, the console, uh, uh, you know, market. Well, I think, I think they've always been I think the actual have... gamer market. Yeah. And I think PlayStation uh, and, I... X, and Xbox are more of the gamers. They're the ones that want everything. They want that premium uh, experience. And looking at this video on the on the Engadget website, it just seems like these the, the the people in this video are kind of like the casual gamer types. I don't know, but not, well, now I'm looking at something completely different. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And then uh, yeah, with graphics, it, it's a tablet, really. I mean, I don't know what they're going to get out of that in terms of performance. That's or, the thing. I, I'm curious about battery power too. That's the thing I can't get over is I thought they learned their lesson with the Wii U and not in not just having a tablet thing, but that's <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that's a big reason why no one was really interested in the Wii U. But and, and on top of that, I heard um, well, th- so they didn't announce any pricing or anything at this point, obviously. Did they say March? But but I said, uh, or, no, uh, oh yeah, it's going to be released, right? So. The uh, whoever it was I was talking to also mentioned um, they think it's going to be a lot more, like a, a higher cost than even some of the other consoles these days, which is kind of insane to think about. <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, if so, I, I don't know. Somebody in my band, I think, threw out the number of like I want to say six hundred bucks or something along those lines. <laughs> which would be, I mean, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> I said I would definitely go PS4 or whatever. I mean, even the the slim versions are like half that. I think. Didn't yeah. PlayStation Four just go slim. We'll they see. The Pro. Yeah, we'll see. I think. I think the pricing is probably not going to be so bad if the graphics chip isn't super intense. But who knows? Mm, yeah. Well, it is Nvidia, but it's still mobile and tablet now. So I don't know how it's going to be. Yeah, and, and and it's like I feel like sometimes Nintendo really does take cues from Apple in certain things. Like like you always talk about Tony the uh, cannibalizing their market or whatever, and it's it almost seems like that's what they're doing here. Except their mobile market, Nintendo's mobile market, is like their most successful thing right now, yes. isn't it? Yeah, and I, that's why I don't think they want to give that up, and they want to try to combine it with their desktop or I guess you could say console market in this in this scenario. Yeah. And when I say mobile, I'm not obviously I'm not referring to mobile phones, even though they are 
exploring that finally, Nintendo, mm-hmm. but which is smart, which is, I mean, I, I just keep thinking they're eventually going to ha- have to go the route of Sega, but maybe not. Maybe if they... Mm-hmm. But I, don't I, mean, know, yeah, I don't know what's going on. How many versions of Zelda can they come out with? How many versions of, of Mario can they come out with? I feel like that's kind of they do. They get them with a new system, and then there's a new version of all those games. I mean, and people like it. Obviously, there's sales there. I don't know. Is that can they keep that up? Yeah, I mean, at least they're doing other things. At least they are. They do still have the the 3ds, and they do still have the uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, well, they are going on to mo- onto mobile phones now with stupid <laughs> with a stupid me thing. I feel like the Mo- Super Mario Run is going to be a little more successful, and then they do have a obviously a, a stake in. Pokemon Go, even though if, even if it's a small one, um, oh, that's true. They do have a bit of that, yeah. yeah. But I f- I think that the Switch is going to be more successful than the Wii U, but that's not saying much. <laughs> I had to guess. I agree. It might be something more, but I don't know. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, last but not least, of course, we have Tony talking about. Yeah. Something. Did you or say something. Surface? Something. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, mine's from The Verge, and it's Surf- Microsoft Surface Studio PC announced for two nine twenty. I'll we'll say pretty much three grand. You know, two thousand nine 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 coming this holiday. And um, I don't. Oh, I think a lot of people were probably tuning into Apple's event on Thursday, but Microsoft did have one in New York on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, they were. This is one th- one out of a couple things. I think they refreshed the Surface line, but I don't know too much on that. Don't quote me. But this is a Surface desktop. It's an all-in-one, and it, they're they're claiming it's the world's thinnest LCD monitor at twelve point five millimeters. And this is a touch screen. And uh, the whole thing, the whole enclosure is is made out of an aluminum, and uh, the the screen size is twenty eight inches across. And uh, the display output is 13.5 million pixels. And they're saying that it's 63% more than a 4K television. Um, the aspect ratio is three, 3 over 2. How do you say that? 3 to 2? Three, 3 to 2. 3 to 2 aspect ratio. Uh, 192 pixels per inch. Um, and Microsoft is, uh, they're, uh, they're calling that true color. <clears throat> and... Um, one of the things that I saw, um, I did watch one of the videos on it, and um, they have this hinge. It's actually, it's, it's an all-in-one, but there's actually, I think a lot of the components are in a box below it a bit. It's a very small, similar box, uh, a bit like a square, if you will. Um, but then there's hinges that are connected to the box, to the, to the actual screen, and um, they're chrome hinges, and they, there's an, or, they have an orientation of uh, 20 degrees, so you can kind of have it up straight if you want to do the traditional like desktop where you have your keyboard and you have your, your you know, you're looking right at the screen. Otherwise, um, you can put the screen all the way down and I believe it's, I believe that's where the 20 degrees down orientation comes from because you could basically write where it's completely like almost flush with the desk that you have it on, but it, I don't think it, all, it goes all the way down um, mm-hmm. flat exactly. Um, so and and you can draw on it and um, and write and, and use your your hands more than anything with it. Um, and then it also uh, what was announced with it is a surface dial. And this right. is a puck like peripheral. It's wireless. Uh, you can place it either you know like let's say next to your mouse, next to your keyboard, and you can it, you basically rotate it. But you can also place it right on the screen of the Surface Studio as well. And um, they were kind of showing off some of the uh, the features of it. It's basically um, it, it pulls up different context menus too, so you can you know just you could put it on there and it'll adjust the volumes if you have some music playing. But then if you're having like I think they have, I don't know if they have Photoshop on or some drawing app, and you could change the colors with it. Um, I'm sure you can change different shapes and sizes and things like that, or different like uh, widths of I'm sure drawing like mid brush sizes and things like that too. Um, but this is uh, a, a big push for the creative professionals. They're focusing more on 3D content. Uh, and then I think, I don't know if this is coming out at the same time, um, but uh, Windows 
10 is coming out with a big update and they're changing MS Paint. Oh, well, they dropped the MS a while ago. It's just called Paint. But they're changing it to uh, Paint 3D. So you'll be able to do 3D images with that. And then there's some other apps that they'll announce later for uh, in their office suite of applications. Um, but there wasn't too much on that. But the full specs of this desktop, uh, the CPU, they're saying the 6th gen Intel Core i5 and, S and i7. They didn't really go into with the speeds of those. Um, you can get it in there with one terabyte or two terabyte hybrid drives. And, you know, what a hybrid drive is, most of the storage is your traditional, um, you know, I'm guessing either 54, 7200 RPM disk drive with a portion of that being solid state. Uh, and typically that portion of it is maybe 20 to 30 gigs and the rest of it's regular. So I don't know, take that as, as you'd like it. Uh, I don't know for sure on how much of, of it is the hybrid, but um, and then eight gigs, 16 gigs of 32 bit, uh, 32 bit, 32 gigs of RAM for the different choices. And then again, this is this is almost all, I should say, laptop hardware. Um, the GeForce GTX 965M, two gigs, or the GTX 980M, four gigs, um, are the graphics cards. Um, some other things are the the Wi-Fi is 802.11ac and Bluetooth 4. And then they have two cameras on it. One of them is a five megapixel front camera with Windows Hello support, which I believe is their biometrics. You know, they'll see your face and then it'll log in for you, which I don't think I've heard too much about really, um, as well as a 1080 video rear camera. And they have a stereo 2.1 Dolby audio. Uh, you can pre-order today. Uh, the article was on the 26th. So you could definitely pre-order it. They didn't have a release date. They said end of December, for some of them, and mostly it'll be next year for, for I'm thinking somehow these, most of these orders are going to come out. Um, and again, starting at two, pretty much three grand, I keep saying $2,999. Um, this is the first one. Other models are $3,299 or $4,199 for I'm sure the top of the line ones. I, I don't know, Shane, you're partly, if not mostly, a creative professional. Does this interest you at all? It does. Uh, it definitely does. Uh, had I not just purchased, oh, mind you, this was a this was announced the day before, mm -hmm. and honorable mention here in the articles in our news today, the uh, Apple event of the new MacBook Pro announcement that we probably good we didn't cover because we talk a lot about Apple stuff usually. But <laughs> well, that's kind of why I think I go maybe more Microsoft than I should because we are more Apple. But I don't know. I, I thought one of you guys would have done an, an Apple one, but maybe not. <laughs> I would have. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But at, at any rate, this, uh, yeah, I know. It looks really cool. Um, it does look nice. has a lot of money, but it does look great. And but it's it, you know, spent less on <laughs> the, the total amount I spent was more than the highest uh, quantity one here, I think. True. I mean, after tax. Actually, it, it came out to be a before tax about what that that higher end one was here <laughs> Whoa. But, uh, yeah <laughs> i'm just curious though um this came with and i i think i forgot to put it in the specs they're going full at usb three i think there's four ports versus i think the mac you're talking about is straight up usb c across the board which is with a lot more support with different in, uh, interfaces Mm -hmm. would, they are, they're they are called standard USB connector. What's mm -hmm. that? Oh, Microsoft's doing the standard USB connector. I guess the yes. the current one that everybody has, the A. Oh yeah, yeah. They're doing the yeah, the current, yeah. And uh, I know Apple came out with their, their laptop, which is completely USB C. And they are Apple is referring to it, I found out because I was confused at first that it said four Thunderbolt ports in the mm -hmm. specs, but they are referring to it as Thunderbolt three now, I guess. Nice. Oh yeah, I first I first saw that too. Thunderbolt. I'm like, what? Thunderbolt? And they're like with Type C or USB C connectors or USB C ports. Yeah. Why I said the interface is because it supports all that stuff. It's that. It's USB. It's mm -hmm. oh, what else? I mean, they you can put any of them in your power too, and then it's considered their Display Port too. Oh yeah, it's everything now, right? But yeah, uh, it's, it seems universal. More universal than well, it is USB. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but I mean so so this this stu uh, studio what is it called again this uh, Surface uh, Studio Surface Studio itself looks really cool um, 
But the fact that it, it came down a bit, I thought, oh, that's nice for people that really want to draw on the screen, it's supposed to maybe compete against some of those Wacom tablets. Now, I don't know. I, I hear those are the best of the best. They're pricey. I don't know. And some of these heavy hitters are trying to compete with them. There's two things that I'm still turned off by with uh, Windows these days. First of all is that I, I think I find the interface is still not there in terms of mm. just usability and just I, I don't like the look. It's a big part of it. <laughs> I don't like the way Windows 10 looks. Um, that on top of and that that all adds just the 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 interactiveness is just not it's not as intuitive as I think Microsoft or Windows maybe once was for whatever reason. I don't know if part of that is because they keep changing stuff around and I'm not used to it. Um, but that on top of not being able to since if I want to put out an app on um, if I want to put out an app on iOS, I can't do that on a PC. I think that's unfortunate things there. But um, you know, if if that I feel like if that obstacle weren't there, I'd be much more something like this. Or um, I mean, this isn't. It's kind. Is it? It's meant to be portable. I don't know if it's meant to be portable. It's just. It's got a lot of. I think they're just trying to make oh. it small and slick and thin and. But I. Yeah. I, I mean, it is a desktop. I mean, it is yeah, it small. portable. Sure. Yeah, so that's a big factor too because I really um, part of the reason I've been saving for about a year now for this MacBook was portability, and mind you, I had looked at uh, like the Yoga uh, Lenovo Yoga, what are they, whatever it was called, the the uh, like convertible one uh, at one point, but that was again that was still just one of kind of the the big factors. Unfortunately, it's it's Apple's own restriction, and iOS being such a big market that I didn't ultimately want to go with a Microsoft mm -hmm. kind of a uh, thing. And, and I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Do, I don't know if that works the other way around. Like, can you create apps or, uh, you know, applications in general for Microsoft products on a, on a, on a Mac? I don't, I don't know if that's the what case. Is it basic. Is that what they use? Is that what you're like? Right. Are we talking about like SDKs or ID? I mean, yeah. Or even, or even, Google for What's that matter. Can I? For... Yeah. Matt, do you uh, know if that's the case? You can. If that's a possibility to make like Android or Windows. How does it come? I think you can make them. on a. Uh... I'm pretty sure you can make Android ones. I'm not sure about Apple ones. Uh, I think you need Xcode for that. Yeah, I think you need to make them on a Mac. But what about Microsoft? On Apple. Um, there's, you can do C sharp stuff. I'm not sure if you you can use their language, um, but not like Visual actually, Basic or anything like that, right? You can yeah, you can use the languages. I don't think you've got access to all the the toolkits and stuff to build Windows and, and yeah, stuff. So you can you could so make some. Uh, but. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I I think it's pretty separate. I don't know. I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I've really looked into Windows tools to see what they have and if they are compatible or if you can install them on a Mac. Mm -hmm. It might be pretty separate. Like, like, yeah, yeah, it might, right. like you're saying is if Xcode was available on Windows, then you might be more willing to go the Windows route, right? Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, well, it, well, exactly. And the, um, precisely, precisely. <laughs> <laughs> that, that on top of the, uh, I mean, iOS is a huge market, right? I mean, Android is a huge market, I guess. Windows is is still technically the biggest, what, desktop market out there, as far as I'm aware. Desktop market, yes. I thought you were going mobile for a second. That's why I went like this. But yeah. Well, right. It, it, and it's just, uh, I, I guess mobile mobile is the future, right? So I don't know. I guess that's maybe where I'm land, why I'm landing on that. Um, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll still get another. I, I it, it sucks because... Part of the whole reason I got this MacBook was to sort of go away, just have a, more of a single, you know, uh, a, a single computer that for personal use, rather than having you know this desktop and and this other MacBook here. But I don't know. Maybe someday I'll still get something like this, the studio, or uh, 
yeah, who knows? Or or a, a, a Windows uh, laptop at some point again. Just don't know. Just don't know at this point. I, I, it'll be a while, though, before I uh, purchase another computer, I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> That's okay. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to see something like this, though. I just like the, the compete and the competition of these. I mean, Microsoft's really trying. They're really trying for, you know, gunning for Apple to, uh, to you know, to get those at least creative professionals, as they're saying. And I know that Apple kind of seems to have the market with that right now, with photos, with, you know, Adobe, everything. I always, well, the first thing that comes to my head whenever I hear the word Adobe is Apple products, this, that, and the other. Um, yeah, that's, and, uh, and then it's still strange that, it, you know, oh, you're running Adobe on Microsoft? And they probably always could, but for some reason, I'm like, why is that strange to me? I don't know. Usually I always think, like, you're usually on a Mac then. And you don't have to be, you know, they have Adobe products all over the creative cloud suite. I think that, you know, that's, isn't that platform agnostic other than Linux, maybe, I don't know, but you can mail Mac, PC, tablets, any of them. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you're not going to get the same experiences necessarily on tablet. Although I, I do recall Microsoft tablet, Microsoft tablets, uh, I believe it's still a little more capable, even though with like the iPad pros, they've, uh, They've expanded. Adobe's expanded upon the the capability of some of their apps on there since mm -hmm. they announced the iPad Pro. But um, yeah, it's uh, I don't remember where I was going with this now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. nailed it. Totally nailed it. <laughs> anyway. I suppose we should probably move along, hey? <laughs> sure. Maybe I'll think about it during our... XP Boost. XP Boost. Ooh. Is Amazon Music this week. Amazon, is that what it's called, Matt? Is that actually what it's called? I think it's just called Amazon Music, yeah. No way. Yeah. They're very, uh, very catchy name. Very nice. I, uh, yeah. I wrote a lot of notes, but I'm not sure if you guys have uh, played around with this at all yet. No. <laughs> oh, it's all you, man. Oh, wow. I can tell okay. people why I haven't played around with it yet. Ooh. Oh, uh, ooh. Because um, I, uh, I have Amazon Prime, but I can't play around with it. Not allowed. Not allowed. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and I've just been lazy. <laughs> wow! There's really, there it is. So it's like the first bullet point is how to actually uh, how to access this thing. Uh, it's available on the browser, which mm -hmm. you guys pretty much have no excuse for not trying this out because uh, you can pretty much just open a new tab, log into your Amazon account, and have at it. So if you have Amazon Prime, try this out. Uh, see if it, it works for you. Uh, unless you've got something, uh, some other music thing that you're super into, but uh, I think it's worth a shot trying this out. Uh, they've got mobile apps. They've got desktop apps. Uh, I actually use both the, the desktop and mobile apps. I don't use the browser app much. Um, and uh, it's kind of a cross between Pandora, uh, which has the kind of stations type thing where you, you type in and curate your own station, uh, and Spotify, where they've got playlists that you can kind of curate and make, make your own. Um, so I said it earlier, but it is included free with Amazon Prime. I'll just write off the prices if you uh, don't know anything about that, uh, but it's 99 a year, 10 a month. comes with a whole boatload of uh, junk. I think the shipping is probably the uh, uh, the biggest thing that people know about, but uh, yeah, they've got a bunch of these smaller side benefits here. Um, they quote, they have a feature uh, featuring a growing selection of 2 million songs. Um, I don't know, quite a few. It's had most of the music I've, I've looked for. Uh, I think the biggest thing about it that I liked was the uh, it's ad free. So I was doing Pandora free uh, for a while, but uh, they just kept playing ads all the time, and I'd, I'd kind of zone out on the ads. But then I'd find myself kind of like singing along to the ads, and obviously they were kind of infecting my brain. So that was the, the biggest thing for wanting to try something else. Um, you can also download music to your to your mobile device and uh, play it on offline. Uh, so I think something like airplane mode, if you're going on a trip, uh, I think you just have to reconnect within 24 hours or else uh, it expires whatever license you've got. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you can do unlimited skips uh, when you're doing the, the station mode um, and having them just kind of populate your, your music. Uh, so speaking of stations, 
Uh, you can thumb songs up and down uh, like you do in Pandora. I'm not actually sure what that does. I'm assuming if you thumb it down, it stops playing it in the station. I think if you thumb it up, I think it adds it to your My Music section, which uh, kind of goes along with any music that you purchase from Amazon uh, or the things I think you've thumbed up so you kind of create your own collection of music that uh, maybe your, your favorite songs to play. Um, stations are based off an artist, so if you, uh, or a genre. So I guess the, the top one there was Adele. I'm not sure, I guess she's the top of the chart right now. Uh, and Top Pop, those were the kind of the example stations. But you can generally pick pretty much any artist uh, and start a station for them and I'll play some more songs to it. Uh, and I haven't, uh, I think the stations are, are pretty good. They, they feel kind of curated like Pandora. Uh, I, I picked songs similar to what I was listening to in Pandora. And it felt like I was just getting a kind of a rotation like I had in my Pandora. So uh, I thought the stations did, they did a pretty good job of, of keeping the, the music pretty similar uh, and you know, kind of on, on track for what you want to listen to. Um, you can't actually create your own personal station, though. Uh, you would need to make a playlist for that. So that's, I guess, one thing against it. But I haven't found it to be really a big deal uh, moving from Pandora to Amazon Music. Um, and then playlists is pretty much. You just go in whatever music they've got available, the, the two million songs, create a playlist for it. Uh, and then there's a ton of playlists already created, and I guess they're called Curated by Amazon's Music Experts. Um, I've listened to a few of those. They don't seem, they, they feel kind of along the same lines of the stations. It's just, hey, here's 30 or 50 songs or something that you can uh, randomize and listen to. Uh, so I haven't really done much with those uh, playlists. Uh, then they've got the uh, My Music section. If you bought anything from Amazon, it shows up there. I think the thumbed up stuff, because I had a lot of music in there that uh, I haven't, haven't really done any work to, to add it there, but I had quite a few songs in there that I know I've been hearing on the stations that appeared there. So that's what I'm assuming that's, that's for. A um, couple of uh, cons, things that uh, I don't like about it. Uh, you can only have one stream at a time. So if you have Amazon Prime with a family and you want everybody to listen to it, you can only have one stream at a time. It, it shuts off. You'll start it up. They'll start playing music. It asks you, hey, do you want to have this device play it? And it'll stop playing on any other device that you've got. So that's, uh, mm -hmm. I guess, one, one con for it. Uh, the uh, stations can repeat throughout the day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a, not a lot. I listen to this probably eight plus hours a day, and I'll hear uh, some songs repeat. So it's not. It's not like it's repeating every hour or anything like that, but uh, if you listen to it all day, and things may repeat, so you might just have to switch stations or something, uh, depending on how into music you are or how, uh, you know, I guess, avert, averse from uh, repeats you are. So that's uh, maybe one, one ding against it. Um, oh, I started typing something that actually fixed this. The desktop version uh, drained quite a bit of CPU power, but I think they fixed that since... Uh, uh, since I noticed it, I, I checked it out again today, and it was hovering at about 5%. So actually, back in check with where I'd expect it to be for a music player. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the highlights. That's pretty much all I've got. Uh, the, the quick rundown for uh, for it. Uh, I guess I can give it a rating of maybe five, five, five out of five, just because I haven't. It, it just kind of came free with Prime, no ads. Uh, that's my biggest uh, uh, feature that I was looking for. Um, so yeah, I like it a lot. You guys should try it out. I will try it out, and I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Yeah, so I'm not a huge audiophile or, or music person. It's just uh, I like things in the background while I'm working. So I'm not too picky about my music. I'm curious if someone somewhat picky about music, if you were more into uh, maybe pop and wanted the latest releases, uh, I'm curious how you think uh, about their selection. So. Uh, that's probably the only thing you might want to check out. But if you've got Prime, uh, check it out. See if it has the songs you want. Um, but it's it's got quite a few on there. I brought up Prime. I brought up. I'm hearing echo. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, For some reason. Uh, no, go ahead, Tony. I was gonna say, um, yeah. When you, yeah, I've talked to you about this before, and I want to, I wanted to use it, but it says, uh, and I'm like, I got Prime. Like, all right. My girlfriend at the time, now my wife. We got married. We got we 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 did the family, whatever it was through Prime. So then it's like, oh, I have Prime now. This is great, and we can share everything. Get the free shipping. You know, no matter whose account we log into, um, you can watch the Prime videos. No matter whose account we log into, this is the only thing that's on hers. 
this won't transfer over to mine unless I want to spend a hundred dollars just to get the music. That's kind of why we're waiting hers out now because she doesn't really care about it. So when hers is up, then I'll do it. It'll go under my account. But I thought that, like, well, why not? You know, why can't every? It seems like this is the only thing that doesn't get shared, and I don't, I don't know if there's a reason for that. So that's kind of what, and maybe this is more of a cut against Prime than it is against the music. But it's all Amazon. So yeah, I'll be trying this. I think it's at the end of November when her year is up, and then I'll uh, I'll, I'll put it all under mine just to try this out because you know I I've been using Pandora for a while and I I'm anxious to try something new and yeah I don't know about Spotify maybe someday who knows um, <laughs> is that a fam like family sharing for Amazon is that how that works yeah and and the other thing is I get the free unlimited photos too like you can throw all your photos there under my account she can do it separately under her account. Like everything is separate except this thing, I have to get my own account. Um, you know, I downloaded the app. It, I'm like, well, why? It, it's saying I don't have an Amazon Prime account, and it's like, well, I do, sort of, you know, by proxy. <laughs> um, and everything else seemed to work, you know, especially like the the Prime videos. You know, Mr. Robot's on it now. I can watch that if I have time, and I have a couple times. But uh, you know, just. And you know, the two day shipping is great. Now I look for the stuff that says prime with it. And that's probably one of the things that's just incredibly valuable. Uh, like you were saying before, and I, I don't know if you have a chain, but I know Matt was just definitely saying that, especially about the shipping. Right? And then maybe someday I thought about, I don't know, have you used this with an echo or anything like that? I don't know if you know if you guys have an echo. Uh, oh, but I mean, oh yes. yeah. You you can use it with an echo. Uh, so I guess technically, I have done that. Then, uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go, Shane. Yeah, that's, um, not... I, I, that's on my radar too. Like, I kind of maybe want something just for the music, or you know, some sort of assistant, you know, in the background for some, you know, maybe some tasks someday. But mostly, just you know, if I'm out and about, I'm just doing some, you know, some chores or something just to turn the music on, and I don't necessarily want to go into my pocket to my iPhone or something. I thought that yeah, all the way, in yeah, all the way in my pocket or whatever. But just like something that you know, throughout the house, you know, not something with a, an iPhone speaker, but something with maybe something with a little bit better, better quality speaker. I don't know. And you don't want to pay five bucks for something like Pandora or, I mean, as long as you're well, five bucks. If you're already oh. paying, if you're already paying the Prime, and yeah, it's a no-brainer, right? And I think I may sure. actually try that. Be well. Partially because I got my Apple Watch now, and I Ooh. I'm going to store, which I still have to do. I still have to put my playlist on here uh, for my workout tomorrow. But uh, so at any rate, I, I logged into the to the music app here, and also it's uh, or the web app, the desktop version. And I did notice so, so this is Prime Music is is what I'm actually seeing here. Is that are they referring to it as both, or is it just Prime Music now? Any idea? It could be Prime. Maybe it's they've got a branding. The so when I open the desktop app, it's called Amazon Music. Um, oh really? Okay. So maybe that seems like more. Amazon Prime Music, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, it says Amazon Music Store here. I don't. Who knows? They're going with both. I guess at this point. Maybe they're in a rebranding or stage or something anyway the the interface i, I think uh honestly it, it's clean it's nice i like it the, the web version anyway it's it reminds me uh the color choices they've used here remind me of, of pandora in fact but almost a cleaner version more like what pandora was, was i think because you're staticky in the voice shame you're staticky in the voice it doesn't matter <laughs> Trust me, right. it, it won't matter in the long run if you guys can't hear me. I mean, it's good if you guys can understand. Do, you, can you understand me at all? Yeah, I can understand you. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's going to record. You know, I don't know if I need to let you know if you can fix it. It's, in not, it's not recording that way. I, I don't have to fix anything in post. It's, it sounds how it's going to sound on my end. So, uh, But as long as you guys can make out what I'm saying halfway decently. <laughs> um, the... Uh, so the, the UI is cleaner. I think it's, it reminds me somewhat of what Pandora used to look like when it first cool. launched. Uh, I mean, it, a little bit. In a, in a, I just feel like it's cleaner than what the current interface to Pandora looks like, honestly, for whatever reason. And maybe, maybe it's been 
a little while since I even used the web interface in Pandora. And I think they did just change it up again. So let me, let me, let me, let me just confirm that here in a second. Yeah, I thought the, I always got to make sure. The UI for Amazon Music, um, I thought it was pretty clean. It's definitely a lot cleaner than what Apple Music turned out to be. Um, it took a little while poking around to find out exactly how to to get stations and uh, get the playlist and get everything that I wanted to, but it's it's not bad. Uh, I think it does does the job. Just logging into Pandora here real quick, just to uh, give myself. A, wow, okay, yeah, Pandora looks different again. They just since they, huge rebranding. Uh, is it just a couple? Yeah, of them? yeah, they did. Well, they just. So they, they look like they haven't done the, that's so weird. It looks like they haven't really done the Pandora Plus thing across the board because when I go in, when I log in the web interface, it still just says Pandora 1. And I, I, as far as I can tell, they are moving in the direction of, of Pandora Plus. And they have some, I feel like they have some new colors on the web interface, but the logo, it's the old logo because clearly the, um, at least based on the icon for, for Pandora now, they, they've changed it back to a uh, serif font again, it looks like. Or sans serif font, I should say, at least based on the P on the icon for it. Whereas, uh, yeah, if you log in the web interface now, it still has that old uh, somewhat serif font to it, which I never really cared for, uh, for whatever reason. When they, re when they did their first rebranding that I was aware of, uh, I didn't really like what the, the direction they went with that. When I first got into Pandora, I thought the user interface looked really nice. And I, I don't know if you guys found that to be the case. <laughs> Matt's just smiling like I probably cared too much about it. <laughs> I think it was uh, all flat based. Uh, I hated that. I think was it was it? I, I, I disable Flash in pretty much every browser I get, so I always have to do an extra click to enable it. But uh, I think that's where they, it was first just Flash. and It was. was and it I'm not, I'm not condoning the use of Flash by any means, by any stretch, but <laughs> but I still liked the the look of it. The I don't know, they had like more so. I felt like their ads at the time were more sort of uh, blended in the background better, and I don't know. I kind of liked what they did, but who knows? I, maybe I'm remembering it wrong, and <laughs> maybe it is actually better now. I'm not sure. And, and again, yeah. okay. Their ads, I think, like the whole background kind of blended into it. They did do a good job with the ads, but yeah, they had a lot yeah. of ads. Yeah. And I, I know, and again, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong on any of this. I, uh, I, I get me wrong. I'm not saying, like, I want a huge ad on my <laughs> screen or anything like that, but at the same time, uh, I don't know. It just, it just looked nice, <laughs> I guess. Hey, Matt, have so, you tried um, the unlimited plans at all? Unlimited or Amazon Prime Unlimited? Um, I don't even know what that does. Oh, there's like I don't <laughs> know. I just saw it on their thing. I don't know. because you, you is well, it Prime music is over two million songs, always ad free and on demand, and then unlimited. Uh, they, well, they say Echo plans, I guess, for their Echo. Ten tens of millions of songs on a single Echo dot or tap. Oh, this is and that's three ninety nine a month. And then they have unlimited individual plans. I don't know. It's, it seems like there's just more ah. services for more music. Yeah, probably just more. Yeah, that's but probably. Yeah, I just, I'm kind of putzing around here just seeing everything. But I don't know if this is probably just new or something. But... Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm not very picky about music. So I haven't run into many songs where it's just, hey, I want to well, listen to a good. song and it's not there. So I, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't generally just look for specific songs. I pretty much just listen to the stations. Uh, oh, sure. So that yeah, that might be uh, an option for getting all the the newer songs or uh, the exact songs that you want. So that, that's cool that they do that. Yeah, it's just something I suppose something extra they have. But yeah, that's that's with your typical Prime account, which is something I hope to get soon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and, and I hope to actually use this in the near future. <laughs> I saw that the screen, our video paused for a split second there for some reason. I was worried. But um, thanks, Matt. Thanks for doing all the research for us. <laughs> thanks, Matt. Do you, did this, do you plan on getting an uh, Echo if you don't have one already? Or I don't know if you, if you think about getting anything like that? Or have you? Uh, you I have thought one? 
I thought it'd be cool for just, yeah, just playing music. Right now I just put it on my, my phone and then stream it to my Apple TV. So oh, that's, that's how I put too. music pretty much on throughout the house. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that, I think uh, the household has some kind of security concerns about some microphone always listening to what we're saying and shipping things across the internet, so. Nicely said. You about it. If you did do something like that, though, would you go with the full-fledged one or the, like, the dot? Um, what is the, the dot just it. streams? It, it listens and then... Yeah, I think you need a separate speaker if you want to yeah, play. Yeah, doesn't have that. You need to have your own. But then they had, what, the tap, what they call? The other or one is it? the one where it's like a portable one. Like, you take it with you. Yeah, and that actually was probably the more likely one I would want because it, that was kind of one of my one about the Echo was that it... Uh, Needs a, a power outlet, you know. Yeah, and Even that it's one. A nice boot. Yeah, I think the dot one is the one where you actually have to hit it in order to say, what a, whatever the trigger word is. I need something <laughs> or whatever. Right? Like the you have to hit it for you the button first, like, like or you have to tap that. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> you have to tap that. <laughs> yes. What? Why don't they call that one the tab? Yeah, they should. It is the tap. Uh, the dot's the tiny one. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, are you saying the dot is the one you have to tap? I don't know. I don't. I get the, the last two confused. One of them's the more portable one. One of them's the one where you need a speaker in order to. Yeah, the but dot more... is the tiny one that needs the speaker. I think. Yeah. If the tap is the one that's portable that uh, is meant to be more portable than I would think that actually is, is oh yeah, portable Bluetooth speaker, so clearly. Uh, well, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if you actually have to tap on it or not, uh, let's see. On the portable one, does it, it won't always be on because you you got battery life to worry about then on the portable one. That's a fair point. Okay, so both of those, you're saying, the tap and the dot. <laughs> are not capable of the sort of hey Siri or the uh well I think the uh, what, what, Alexa. Yeah, no Alexa. one of them you know, hey Alexa or whatever it is. Did you say Siri just now? I did. Nice. <laughs> you know here's the here's a little thing. Would well, yeah. uh, you say okay tap, Google? <laughs> all right, I mean did it on purpose. Uh uses the Alexa voice service when connected to Wi Fi or a mobile hotspot to play music. Read the news, provide weather reports, and even order a pizza. Wish we had that Ooh. last night. <laughs> Wait, we, we shouldn't say that. We're because we might trigger some people if they're listening to this next. To their oh, well, we already oh. messed up. Oh, I mean, <laughs> like, okay, Google order a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, hey Alexa, put a PlayStation Four in my shopping cart. <laughs> I mean, well, PS Four is in a dinosaur. <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. If that really happened, you can take it out before you actually... Confirm, confirm, confirm. Oh. <laughs> and the MacBook you Pro can... retina. Send all your bills to Tony at Techies. <laughs> yeah. If you need my Twitter account, look at Shave Maddox. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, so that's, so that's kind of confusing, though. It says when you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can use... Well, no, I guess that makes sense, but does that mean... I don't know, I'm still confused about the... All well, doesn't that mean that it's the portable one? Oh, I don't know. But uh, to your point, I guess the battery would go down more if, if it's always listening, right? Yeah, because it's, it's... Yeah, that, that service is always looking for the trigger word. Got to keep it on, got to keep it on. So it's it's the dot... What are the three? There's the dot, the dash? Is that what the tap? No. Oh, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. There's the echo, which is a full fledged one. And then the other yep. two. Yes. And one of them is meant to take, you know, like I think I saw a video, some guy's out having a picnic or whatever. He wants to listen to some music. So then he taps the button, let's listen to some music. Probably has it connected to his phone or something. I don't know. And then there's the one that's you connect it to a better speaker system that you have in your house. So there, or, you know, maybe, a, you know, and then that's the one that you'd say, hey, Alexa, or I'm waiting for you to be able to change the computer word to computer or to change the uh, trigger word to computer, yeah. like in Star Trek. Yeah. And that's what I, I like. That. Yes, that'd be amazing. 
I don't know. That's dumb too. I'm sure. Whatever. People have their own opinions. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Computer red alert. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. That was very informative. Thanks, Matt. Thanks for thanks for all everything you check your easy. <laughs> you're a wonderful person and human being. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't get that one. I didn't. Right. Mind. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? I haven't checked. I, I haven't checked in a while if we have any other iTunes reviews. Do you, what do you guys think? Do you think we haven't? Do you think there's anything on there? Maybe. Nah, nah. Probably not. I'll check anyway. Why not? Here we go. We got uh, da, da, da. how many reviews? We got so many. Uh... Yeah, no, just the two still. <laughs> Depressing. And oh yeah, I can't bring up sad trombone on here, can I? Sam Trom Sad Trombone. Just just play that go there, you'll understand. Uh yeah, sixty one sixty two episodes now. Yeah. Yeah. Well thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> uh no Collins, no uh no reviews to read. It's a shame. It's crying shame. Our website, though, is no, niceguynetwork.com slash techies. Leave us a rating on iTunes, please. Leave us a rating on iTunes. That'd be awesome. It'd be awesome if you left us writing on iTunes. Go to iTunes, type in Techies Podcast, <laughs> leave us a rating. That's how that works. Simple as that. Oh, that's yeah. how that works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're on Stitcher. We're on Alpha Geek Radio. We record Sundays at 6, 7 Central on our YouTube page, Nice Guy Network. Do a search in there for Nice Guy Network. You can tell we need more subscribers before we actually uh, can get a cool, cool URL on that one. But until that day, I guess we'll just say that <laughs> we can't say much more. Anyway, Techies Podcast, Techies Podcast at gmail.com is our <laughs> find us on social network platforms such as Facebook and Twitter at Techies Podcast. And I think that's our show, except for the fact that uh, Tony doesn't have Twitter and Matt is at Hulock. And I'm at Shave Maddox, and that is where you can find us at that. Any last words, fellers? What's the podcast called again? It's Techie. <laughs> you said it three times in a sentence there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for listening. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Matt. And until next time. Take her easy. Fierce he did. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't think anyone's in our chat room. Chat room, help me out. Yeah. Who's in there? Anyone even? Are you having a chat room? Is chat room on YouTube? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's on YouTube. Yeah, that's the one where I go because I, I like I can take it out of the website and then I can just put it in a separate window, which I kind of like to do. Uh-huh. I am. Anything else from the chat room? I am. Chat room, help me out. <laughs> chat room. I thought you asked anyone else in the chat room. <laughs> chat room, help me out. How do I find the chat room? Uh, did he give you the link for the streaming? Because it's on the right side of that. Yeah, there's that link. Is that link's link in the lower right? The link's link. The link's link. The link's link. The link's link. Those links. Link. Ooh, I heard of links. Link. Wait, which which no. chat room are you in? The good one. Links, link. What do you mean, which chat room? Just the one. We have them. We're in the same. Are you in Hangouts? Are you yeah, in the, yeah. the techies? The, the oh, show notes? Techies. I'll just chat it to you. <laughs> which chat? <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the chat chain. <laughs> Put it in the chat. <laughs> chat room. Got <laughs> two chats. Oh, there really is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shit, help me out. <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that's unavailable right now. On this. There, I'll, I'll chat in the hangout. I'll chat in the, the hangout chat. Uh, Where, how do I get to that? You're in it already. Tech reason. <laughs> There's what? the chat. I can't wait to oh, you found it. whatever I can get with this Barnes & Noble gift card. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get a Barnes & Noble gift card? At work. Okay. Uh, how'd you do that? I don't know okay. if did stuff or I did stuff. I was a good person. I don't know. That's not the chat room, Matt. <laughs> Matt's the <laughs> chat room. The chat room. <laughs> hey, Matt's saying stuff in the other chat room. What is this? You, oh, oh, here's the. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, Matt. Chat room. Here you go, Matt. There it is. Oh, oh, Click the chat room. Click. Oh, here's the. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here you go, Matt. Oh, man. When's the last time I signed into Barnes and Noble? Barnes and Noble. Oh, I had the YouTube video. I didn't catch it. There you go, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Matt, Matt's ready to go back to the YouTube delay. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying. What do you want to listen to? Oh, here we go. Shane sounds fun too. After hours. That sounds. <laughs> um, you can't actually play your own. No. Oh, that sounds bad too. Oh my God! What's this password? No. Hey, what's my um? What's my Barnes and Noble password? Password. Big, big <laughs> right. 75. Uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Is it is it big big dongle? Oh my god, big you dongle. just love that stuff. You just eat it up, don't you? <laughs> oh yeah. Is, this, is it weird if I ask you to oh, yeah. put it in your mouth a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Matt's got something coming out of his mouth and Shane's in the beach with something on his forehead. Oh, there I am putting a dongle in my mouth on YouTube. Oh, I'm to reset <laughs> my password. Damn it. Don't you have a password manager? I do have one password on here. I just put it on here. We're going to do this. We're going to one password this bitch. <laughs> Uh, I don't understand. Yes. Uh, Wait, where's, that, where's that cake, buddy? There it is. Did you say cake? <laughs> Damn, that was a fast download. <laughs> <laughs> the new update to one password. I like how you were gung ho to get the uh, new version of it, the the uh, cloud version, and then until you realized it was a cloud version. Oh, it's time to 